How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi Battle, this time with a little bit of a twist. So we're playing on Ryujinx and Emulator at the moment and what we've done is we've built a Pokemon team full of Pokemon that are just fun. It's not a proper team. Um, we've put moves on them that they can't normally move but it would make sense for them to use them. We've also changed the abilities as well to make it more, you know, just to an ability that you think, oh yeah, that, that, that should be able to get that ability. Um, we're going against Angel of the Night. There's a link to his channel in the description. He posts really high quality Wi-Fi battles as well. He definitely needs some more love, so go check him out and watch his videos and stuff. And with that being said, let's jump into the game. Okay, here we are. These are our teams. He's got a Darkrai, an Alakazam, Dragonite, Raikou, Marowak, and a Metagross. We've got Zapdos, Aerodactyl, Weavile, Muk, Typhlosion, and a Mewtwo. So we agreed to have one Uber each, which was pretty fine by me, to be honest with you. I mean, it works out nicely for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with Aerodactyl. Um, I believe it outspeeds everything on the team, except for maybe the Alakazam. So we'll go ahead and do that. And let's jump into it. And the battle begins. So... He leads off with Alakazam, which I was just saying is the only thing that outspeeds my Aerodactyl, I believe. We lead it off with said Aerodactyl, which is awesome. And um, the moveset we have on this Aerodactyl, we've got Rock Head, which is a normal ability it has, but we've got Head Smash, Brave Bird, Earthquake, and U-Turn. So in this particular instance, I'm going to go for a U-Turn and get out of here. There we go. Go for the U-Turn. Should take him... Oh, it doesn't even take him down to his Sash. Interesting. So what we've done is we've maxed EVs for every single stat. That way the battle lasts a bit longer. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Let's go into our Weavile real quick. There we go. Into the Weavile. Boom. Just like so. Um, we should outspeed the Alakazam. No problems there. They go for a Hypnosis and we avoid the attack. <laughs> uh, so we have on Weavile, we have Ice School Crash, Knock Off, Close Combat, and Ice Shard. Um, I'm just going to go for the Ice Shard right now to just finish this thing off. As he does stay in and he's going to get taken down by said Ice Shard. So that's pretty awesome. Alakazam out of the way. I don't think Alakazam normally gets Hypnosis, does it? We have Moxie on Weavile, by the way. <laughs> Just cause. Why not? Why not? Um, so we take the Alakazam down, which is perfect. And now I'm excited to see what he brings in next. There's the Raikou. So Raikou is pretty threatening. Um, we probably shouldn't stay in because I don't feel confident that Ice could Crash a one-shot. you got to remember that this Raikou has max defense and max HP, so he's probably going to live a move. Uh, I'm better off switching into something that can take a special attack like Zapdos. Uh, oh, wait, no. I should have gone Zapdos, really. No, because he's probably going to go for a fighting move. I imagine he's put Aura Sphere or, like, Focus Blast on this thing. Uh, reflect. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Um, so this particular Muk, we have Gunk Shot, Super Power, Earthquake, and Sucker Punch. Um, Earthquake is something that Muk should really get because it's like a big blob. And, you know, smaller things get Earthquake, so why not? Uh, I just kind of want to go for a Gunk Shot. We do have adaptability on this Muk, so Gunk, gunk Shot's going to hurt quite a lot. So let's go for it and see what kind of damage we're doing. They're going to withdraw Raikou. Interesting. What are they going to go into? Marowak? Marowak makes sense. So there's Marowak coming in. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Uh, we go for the Gunk Shot. Should do a barely anything, really, because it reflects up and is resisted. We could get the Poison, though, which would be nice. No? Guess not. So... What we're going to do is we're going to switch out because this um, Marowak is pretty threatening. Uh, we're going to go into our Zapdos. We go for an Earthquake, right? Let's go into Zapdos. So let's switch out Muk real quick into Zapdos and see how that goes. There we go. Like so. Boom. Let's see what this thing goes for. Iron Defense. Interesting. Interesting. So Iron Defense isn't a move that Marowak normally gets. Um, but I guess in this instance it does. So on Zapdos, we have Thunderbolt, Hurricane, Hidden Power, Ice, and Volt Switch. So Hidden Power is in the game because Unknown gets it, which means every Pokemon should have been able to get Hidden Power in this game, but they just decided against it, I guess. Um, so we can go for a Hidden Power, Ice, but I think Hurricane does a lot more damage because it's Stab. So we'll go for Hurricane in this instance. Um, there we go, go for the Hurricane. Does a clean amount of damage to the Marowak as they're able to go for an Iron Head, which doesn't do too much damage to us, of course. Um, I'm guessing he's got his type advantages mixed up there. We're going to go for a hidden power. Oh, a choice spec. Yeah, never mind. We'll go for another hurricane. They probably switch out into Raikou right now, right? No, they stay in. They let Marowak go down to the hurricane. Pretty awesome. So Zapdos is coming through. We get a crit on the hurricane. Not that it matters because um, it only had like one HP left. Uh, he could go into whatever he wants really because I am choice specs, but he doesn't necessarily know that. There's the Dragonite. So Dragonite comes in. Nice and shiny looking clean. 
Gotta love it, gotta love it. Um, so, as much as I want to stay in and go for an Earthquake, yeah, uh, I don't really have a good switch into an Outrage, to be honest with you. I think I stay in and go for a Hurricane, pretty much. There we go, Hurricane comes through. They should have multi-scale, which they clearly do. Um, they go for the Outrage, that's going to hurt a lot. Takes out Zapdos, which is crazy. Got a crit. I don't think the crit mattered, really. I mean, then again, we are max defense, max HP. Well, we're max all stats, so it's like, whatever. Um, he's locked into Outrage. We can just go into Weavile right now and go for an Ice Shot if we really want to. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Go into Weavile. Like so. Boom. And now we can just go straight for an Ice Shot. Well, we don't even need to go for Ice Shot. We can go for Icicle Crash. We have a Knock Off. We have a and I think Ice Shot's the best way because they might be Choice Scarfed. I don't know. Let's go for an Ice Shot. There we go. Should take it out from there. Yeah, nicely done. So down goes the Dragonite. There we go. We get the Moxie boost because I figured Weavile... I figured if Scrafty gets Moxie, then so should Weavile. You know? <laughs> There's the Raikou coming back in. Now, Raikou obviously just scares me out. Um, Kind of thinking we go for a knockoff, though. Then again, Reflect up, isn't it? Let's go for the knockoff and knock off a potential Light Clay. There we go. Knockoff comes through. That's going to nearly take out the Raikou, which is crazy to me. As uh, they're able to go for a Thunderbolt, which isn't going to take us out because Weavile has surprisingly good special defense. Especially when it's maxed out like it is. So let's go ahead and go for a, um, a close combat real quick just to see it in action. There we go. Go for close combat. That's going to take out Raikou nice and easily does it every time. So they are in a good position right now. They could come in with Metagross and go for a Bullet Punch if they really want to. We go for a Moxie Boost, which is great. Now they can just go into uh, Metagross and finish off with Bullet Punch. And I'll probably let him do that because it gives us a free switch into something else. There's the Metagross as expected. Looking awesome. And uh, we're just going to go straight for a knockoff just in case they do stay in. Uh, just in case they don't go for a Bullet Punch, you mean? They do go for a Bullet Punch and we knock out the Metagross in one shot. Oh my god, Weavile is overpowered. Absolutely brutal. But again, we are at plus three now. So that makes sense. They should have gone for a bullet punch there. I'm guessing they don't have it though. I'm guessing they don't have it. I'm guessing they don't have it. There's the dark cry. Oh my god, that's so cool! This is the new animation for Dark Cry. Um from the um battle ant uh, mod that I've got on, and it's just the way it comes through the floor like that. And look at his legs. How creepy is that, man? How creepy is that? So I want to get something else out to uh, shine a bit. I want to get Aerodactyl in real quick. I'm going to withdraw the Weavile real quick. I know I didn't need to do this because we could have won the game with close combat. But, you know, they, they could be Focus Ash for all I know. They go for Dark Void. We're going to avoid that hit because it's Dark Void. We're going to go for a Brave Bird right now. Choice Banded Brave Bird. Rock Head. So there's no recoil. How overpowered is Aerodactyl right now? Switcheroo? Lagging tail. Oh my god. That's actually going to come back for us now. Let's go for the Brave Bird again. We're going to go last. So they could go for a Dark Pulse if they really wanted to. They're going to go for a Thunder. That's going to do a lot of damage to us. Not going to take us out. We can go for the Brave Bird and finish off the game. So that was pretty fun, actually. That was a pretty quick but fun battle. Definitely a quick one. Um, let me know if you want to see more Hackmon's battles like this. If you do, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.